Whether I'm hosting in an arena in front of 15,000 people, or speaking in a business, a church, a school, sharing my story, my goal is simply to love people. You never know what someone might be going through. Their life might be spinning out of control due to an addiction. The love of their life might have just walked out of them. Or they might think that no one cares and simply want to give up. With my words, I want to encourage, inspire, and offer hope. How many of you in this room like movies? Anybody like movies? Those of you not raising your hand in the far back are a bunch of liars. <laughs> but the, the hero, the superhero, always gets the most beautiful girl in the movie. And gentlemen, how many know that right there is reason enough to want to be a hero? Oh, I got one honest person. <laughs> See, everybody in this room, we all have a time, we all have a moment where we need someone to be the hero, where we need someone to step in and to save the day. And that was my moment. What's your moment this morning? A lot of times we have this idea of what we think homelessness is and what we think poverty looks like. And if you're anything like me, you think about those commercials where they have the little kids from India and Africa, and they find the cutest kids possible with the biggest brown eyes, and then, if that wasn't enough to get your heart going, then they throw that Sarah McLaughlin song on the background of this commercial, all right? So by the time you get done watching this thing, you got tears running down your face, you got snot bubbles coming out of your nose, and you have all five credit cards all ready to donate and support an entire bill to these kids. How many know what I'm talking about this morning? <laughs> and you get that one of the single most greatest things that any of us can ever do is to change someone's life. Is to simply reach out and let somebody know that they're not alone. I want to ask you guys this morning to save the day.